Hello, everybody. This is Cam Plouffe. I'm going to be talking to you about a number of different things related to the App Challenge. First, we're going to start with how you should get started with this project. And the first thing you really need to do is create an ArcGIS developer account. The developer account will allow you to access all the resources needed and that we'll, we'll discuss in this set of videos. So it's very important as a first step. And I would actually recommend creating one developer account for your entire team. That way you can share data amongst yourselves and not have to worry about different accounts and different, different security settings and whatnot. So first things first, you navigate yourself to the developers.arcgis.com page right here. And this is a great resource for finding all types of different developer information, web API details, S runtime SDK, everything here is this is the hub you want to visit. So what you want to do is if you don't already have a developer account, click the sign up now button located right here. And then you'll be brought to a form where you'll basically just provide your first name, your last name and your email address. I already have an account, so I'm actually not going to go through this, but essentially you will be sent an email, you'll confirm, and then you'll have your account up and ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to my standard ArcGIS developer account. So this is an account actually I used for a previous app competition, one we hosted here at Esri Canada. So I'm going to be using this throughout this demo. So as you can see, I'm logging in and these are some feature services that have already been published or sorry applications that have already been published using using the form that you'll be provided with here so first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a hosted feature service so what you want to do is you want to go up to this top right menu right here click this hosted data tab and this will show you all the data that you've hosted all the feature services that are associated with this ArcGIS online developer account so you see we have a number of different feature services. This will be blank if you just created a new account. And what you want to do is you want to click the new feature service button. So I'll fill out some example details here by basically just basic information about your, your feature service. So here app challenge description is going to be for this app challenge. Obviously you're going to want to make this more descriptive for your actual data set. I'm just going to do a points data set and tags ECC. Oh, we already have, oh, you cannot use dashes. All right. <laughs> so switch these to underscores and continue. And now we'll have to define our fields for this feature service. So what I'm going to do is I'll create a few just default or default fields. We have the name. Let's go with the date. And we can change the data type to date here and if you want to make it required you could check this box as well and lastly let's just do um, area and switch this to a float add and now we have three fields so obviously this is a very basic attribute table but you might want to include a lot more a lot more fields in your actual data and lastly let's pick the render which will be displaying our data on the map so I'm just gonna pick this marker here and now that we've filled everything out, make sure that you have everything as you want it and click publish service. So this will be publishing this feature service to this particular ArcGIS Online account. And this is one way to go about it. So now you see it's already done. And what we can do is we can go into ArcGIS Online to edit this. So click the edit in ArcGIS Online button and this will actually bring us right to the map viewer. And what you see is a standard Esri base map, but there is no data on the map because we just created this feature service. So what we want to do is we want to create some data. We want to add some data to this feature service. So let's say, let's go to the office here and let's add our office to the map. There we go. So what we have to do once the base map loads, we can click the edit button. So when we click the edit button, it allows us to start editing our feature service. And we see that our feature service is already here in the contents tab. So we click edit and then we go to our template here and we click new feature. And once we click this, now we're adding new features to the map. So if we click on Esri Canada, 
So you want to add this. You can see now we can fill in the name, Esri Canada, date, maybe select today's date, and then area, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Just fill in a random number. This is just an example. And if you want to, you can include an attachment as well. Once you're finished filling in the appropriate information, click close, and now that's been added to the map. What we have to do now, though, is stop editing features. So what you want to do is stop your edits by clicking the edit button. And lastly, click the drop down arrow beside your layer and make sure that you save your information. So save layer right here at the bottom. And now this has been saved to our feature service and we can click. We can see our information has been populated into the pop-up. So that's obviously a very basic example, but you can use this to create your information within ArcGIS Online. If you already have your information in a shape file or a feature layer on ArcGIS Desktop, you can also publish this directly to your ArcGIS Online account. So I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to open ArcMap, and you can see we have some Vancouver neighborhood area data right here. And what I want to do is publish this to my ArcGIS Online account. So I'll go File, and I can sign in. So now I'll sign into that account, that, or you'll sign into the account that you just created fill in the appropriate credentials, click sign in, and give it a second, and we should be in. And now what we can do is we can share this via ArcGIS Online. So share as service, then select publish a service, give it a name, let's call it Vancouver, Vancouver, and that's, that's fine for now. Make sure that you have my hosted services for your account selected. You'll see I have an ArcGIS server instance registered here, but I want to do it to my hosted services. So publish to your own hosted services in ArcGIS Online. And one thing you should definitely do is go to Capabilities tab right here and enable feature access, disable tiled mapping. This will make the data, the size of your data set a lot more manageable. If, you're, if you try to upload a tile package, it'll be enormous and it's really not worth doing. So we can analyze our data set here and we'll see there's a missing summary in the item description and missing tags in the item description. Those are both high priority errors. So what we have to do, we can double click these. We can just fill in ECC data and then tags ECC. And then let's analyze again now. And now we can see there is no breaking errors. There's warnings, but there's no errors. So what we can do is if we wanted to publish this information to the web, we could just click the publish button and we'd be all finished. But I'm, I've already got some data up there, so I'm not going to go about this. So I do not want to save this draft. All right, so now that we've done that, we have our own data. What we want to do is create a web map. So we already have our information our, our data set uploaded in this web map viewer, but a, a better way, if you're normally logging into ArcGIS online, you can go to ArcGIS.com, sign into your account. So this would be if you're just doing this, if you say you would publish the information from ArcGIS desktop, and you'd go to your My Content tab here. So I have a lot of different feature layers here, but what we want to do is select the feature layer that we just published, which would be the ECC app challenge. Click that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and add the layer to a new map. And we're doing this so we can publish this to a web map. A web map is a really is a good format for consuming data, especially if you're making an, a mapping application. You can plug this directly into the, the ArcGIS JavaScript API, any of the mobile SDKs, and the the web app builder so it's really versatile so let's zoom in to the extent say let's say we want to change the base map for a web map let's do that select a different base map let's just do we'll do one of the new ones the dark gray so you can see this is our base map and what we do now is we'll click save save as and now we're saving this as a web map so ecc app challenge tags ecc ECC app challenge and if we click save map now this has been stored as a web map and last thing you have to do this is important step once you've saved your web map you want to share that 
So you click the share button here, and because we want this app to be accessible to everyone, we want to share with everyone and make the map public. Update sharing. This is important. So you need to make sure that you're sharing both the web map and the feature service that you published earlier. So this will allow you to update the sharing all in one prompt. So click update sharing. OK. And then done if you're finished. And now you have a web map that is accessible to anybody as long as you provide this link to them. Another thing that's important to note is the web map ID. So you can see in the URL right here, it says web map equals. This ID you will use in any sort of mapping application to reference the web map you just created. So there's a number of different ways you can go from here. You can either go into the JavaScript API direction and develop your own app, or you can make a pre-built web application by using one of the templates provided by ArcGIS Online. So let's just quickly look at what you can see here. So if you click Make a Web Application, you'll see there's a number of different templates that we can go through. So this is a basic viewer, and then there's also the option to use the Web App Builder. And Michael's going to discuss using the Web App Builder a little bit later on. But you can see you can use a number of these different templates, and all of them have a different purpose. So one, public information, a story map tour, depending on what you want to present and how you want to present your data, you'll click the appropriate template.